Utilizing a calendar as a realtor is essential, but most don't know how to do it properly. What's up guys, Louis Galt here. I help realtors scale using systems, processes, and time management. And today we are talking about calendars. Specifically, we're gonna talk about Google Calendar because it's the overarching one that everyone uses. Um, it's a super, super important and valuable free tool that you should be using every single day of your life if you're not. Now, um, there are a few caveats to this which we'll jump into the video. But before that, if you haven't been here before go ahead like comment subscribe if you find this video useful that would mean the world to me so google calendar um, is an interesting thing it seems like most people use it but most people use it um, for you know meetings so if a, you know someone schedules a meeting with you it's in your calendar but really if you kind of pull up to the day you'll see a meeting or two in there but for the rest of the day you're like well what am I gonna do? I'll just leave it to chance and see if I can figure out what to do. I'll just kind of endlessly scroll through emails or I'll have like a bunch of different tabs open and end up not being productive. So how do you actually use it? I'm gonna show you the system that I use to schedule my day, my week, my months um, and really build it out like this. I used to subscribe to kind of different ways of doing it. I used to do the Ryan Serhant style where the night before, I would go minute by minute by minute by minute and completely build out my day. So I would just follow it on autopilot. Um, now I give myself a little bit of leeway, a little bit of flex because I also do a lot of coaching now and not just, you know, um, client stuff. So um, it's a little bit different and you'll see when we jump in here, but it's essential. And I think this is gonna be a very important video. If you struggle with structure in your business, in your daily life, in your day to day, this video can really help. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in and check out the Google Calendar. All right, guys, here we are inside of Google Calendar. Uh, now, I've gone way in the future um, so that, you know, you can kind of see the empty page. So there's only a few uh, standing items that are there right now. So here's what I love to do and here's what I kind of teach everyone to do. The first thing you want to do um, in your business is really think about categories and what kind of things go into different kind of categories so that you can start to really look at your calendar um, in separate states, okay? The worst thing you can have is a calendar that's just like one thing, you know, like Louis calendar and just everything goes on that because visually it just looks insane um, and it's just, it's too much. You can't figure out through it. So we want to streamline this and we want to make sure that we can separate things so you know what you're working on, uh, you know, during the day and each day as you go on. So I'm gonna show you a few things here. Here's what I do. These are all my calendars on the left hand side. Now, when you go into your Google Calendar, all you're gonna do if you wanna add one of these is hit plus and then you can create a new calendar and you can name it what you want. Um, and go from there. So super, super easy. You can add a description if you want um, and go from there, okay? So let me show you what my calendars are. Top one is GSD, which is get shit done. <laughs> this is kind of like my general to-do calendar, things that are going on, okay? Like you see in here, a couple of things that are already built in, weekly newsletters in here, there's a couple of calls um, that are always gonna be there. Um, so that's my kind of general calendar. Then I've got buyers. Um, if I have, you know, um, uh, um, viewings, you know, scheduled with some buyers or I have a, a buyer's appointment or I have a closing with a buyer, whatever that might look like, anything to do with buyers, I have in here. Uh, Gold HQ, that is my family calendar uh, with Mackenzie and the kids and stuff. I'm not going to bring that one up for obvious reasons. Um, <clears throat> then I have meetings. That could be if you're having meetings with a lender or a title rep or, um, you know, for me, it's meetings with agents um, and different things like that. So whatever kind of meetings you're having that aren't typically buyer-seller things, even if they are buyer-seller things, the first time I'm meeting them, I'm putting them in, in the meetings calendar because it's kind of bright yellow and it lets me kind of visualize, okay, that's an important meeting to go to. So meetings are right there. Uh, Self-development, I put in time for myself to, you know, an hour through the day to make sure that I take time for myself either to read or just to chill, you know, do some meditation, whatever that looks like. So self-development, uh, then I have sellers, then Wolfpack, you know, obviously is my team. So things I'm doing with those guys uh, and then a workout calendar could be jujitsu, lifting, whatever that is. So that's kind of step number one is breaking down like 
everything you do into categories. Um, and you'll find that it's pretty easy. They'll probably be very similar to this, maybe one or two different, but that's the way I like to do it. So the next thing um, I like to do is actually change the colors on this. That This might seem like, okay, we're talking about changing colors, but it actually is honestly quite a big deal. If you look at the, like a typical Google Calendar, the colors are bright red and bright green. Like this example right here. <laughs> you can see these colors. Um, you can kind of tell that things are moving around and there are different calendars on the left-hand side. But if you look at it, it's visually like, oh my gosh, like there's too much going on. So for me, um, and it's actually been scientifically proven, if those colors are bright and aggressive, it, it actually changes the way you look at your calendar, um, believe it or not. So I like to do a little more neutral in the colors. And all you have to do here is find a color palette that you like. So you could type in, you know, uh, relaxing color palette, whatever. And you might find something like this. Cool here. And it will give you the um, hex codes up here. So you can go to your calendar now. You can see the one you want to change options and you're going to go to, you know, it says uh, all the colors here. Just go to the plus button to add a custom color and then you would copy that hex code and then paste it in here and you'll have your color. So if you do it with a little more of a relaxing palette, honestly, it really does make a massive difference. If you are a person like I am who leaves your calendar sitting on the desktop, I have it sitting on a different monitor there. If it's just sitting there with like bright colors, it truly is like, oh, I don't want to do that. But if it's sitting there with super chill, nice palette, it makes a difference mentally. Just try it, you'll see what I mean. So I like to change all the colors um, for this. Okay, well, let's get into our actual calendar, the do's and the don'ts of what I like to do. Now, I've taken mine off for the intents and purposes of this, but one trick that I like to do is to think about the main buckets of my business and actually put them in as daily categories, okay? So let's think about a typical um, realtor, okay? So you might have a day uh, where all you do is prospect, okay? So it might be... Um, uh, like lead generation prospecting, okay? So what I would do is I would add an event. Let's say lead gen prospecting, okay? And I'm gonna change this to an all day event. And then what I'll do is I will repeat every week on Monday. Now I'm gonna save that and you can change the calendar if you want, you know, so maybe it's lead gen for buyers okay so let's just say that cool okay <clears throat> next one i'm gonna do uh, for tuesday is um youtube content all right again let's make that all day event on the tuesday uh this is going to go in to that would be well let's see what kind of calendar would that be uh that's just going to be in my get shit done calendar and we're going to do that weekly on Tuesday. Now, you'll see how this means. So I'm going to fill the rest in now. Okay, so I've filled in all five days now. And this is just generic stuff, obviously. But you'll see that every day now has a theme, right? For Monday, it's lead gen prospecting. For Tuesday, it's YouTube content. Could be social media content. Wednesday is for door knocking, if that's a big part of your business. Uh, Thursday is for my team. Seven, uh, Friday, it's for client follow-up. And you'll see I've made these every week. So every week I go through, it will give me this. Now, what's the point in doing this? This doesn't mean that all day, like, okay, well, I, there's no need to put anything else in my calendar because I know what I'm doing all day. No, what this does for me is it gives the day a theme. There's two ways you can look at this. One of them is to strategically schedule your day to fall in line with the overall um, arch of the day. Or the other way is to do, if you have blank spaces in your calendar, fill it in with this exact thing, almost like a reminder, like, hey, if you don't have much going on, this is what we're gonna focus on today. And that's typically the way I use it. So I'll fill in my calendar um, and we'll put in, so, you know, let's let's start putting in some, some things to do. Uh, I'm gonna say I'm going to uh, listing appointment. I'm gonna add that to my meetings calendar. That's going to be a two-hour appointment, whatever. Cool. Um, 
when I come back from that later on, I actually have to pick up kids from school. It's good to have all this stuff in your calendar. Boom. Uh, that would usually go in my family calendar. It's not up in the screen, so I'm just going to put that into the get shit done. Cool. Um, and then, you know, from there, I'm going to go and do a Facebook Live from 4 to 5. All right, whatever. Now, so say I've got that in my calendar. I'm, like, I'm looking at my day. Uh, I'm like, cool, okay, I've got a meeting here, uh, 9 to 10, a couple of things going on. Then I have a listing appointment from 11 to 1. And then from 3 to 5, I'm pretty much done, you know, finishing up the day, doing my Facebook Live. And then, you know, nighttime, I like to spend with my family. Typically, I don't schedule anything after 6 p.m. So um, for me, what I'll do now is I'll be like, okay, well, I have gaps in my calendar. What do I have? Um, you know, typically for me, um, I wake up, I work out, um, and I take my kids to school, come back. Usually 8.39 is when I get my day going. So I'm not going to put um, too much in here. But let's say from 8.30 to 9.00 because I know I'm going to have a little half hour. Uh, I'm just going to, for lead gen prospecting, um, I'm going to um, write out some copy for um, an email I'm going to send. So write email copy. So this would be for an email, maybe going out to buyers or whatever that's going to look like. So you can send that to your database. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and move that to buyers. Okie dokie. Now, between 10 and 11, I have this. Now, I know I'm going to have to leave earlier to get to the listing appointment. So let's just do another half hour. And again, what have I got for the day? Lead gen prospecting. So let's think about um, uh, um, building flyers. Okay, you could be doing that on Canva, whatever that looks like. So let's say that takes us to 1045 because we're going to have to leave after that. Okay, I've got my appointment. I'm going to come back and I've got this two hour window. Okay, so what I can do here is go ahead and just do this whole thing for two hours. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and research lead gen ideas. Boom, like this. Okay, now, obviously, you might look different, whatever it looks like, but you see what's happened here. Now, I've had spaces in my calendar that I've been able to fill in with days that actually, with um, items that match the day. And all these five days are gonna be like a pillar of my business. Um, you know, a lot of people subscribe to that kind of thing where you have pillars of business, you know. So for me, I have, you know, YouTube, I have my team. Um, I do a lot of stuff with uh, probate lawyers. Um, I do um, a lot of stuff with uh, Instagram, you know. So whatever your pillars are for your business, that's the, what you want to be putting into focus. And then you can start filling up your day with items that are gonna actually go ahead and get that going. Now, as this fills up, it's pretty cool because, you know, it doesn't look insane from the super bright colors, but you're also getting a lot of stuff done. Now, here's what I wanted to talk about. I don't subscribe to filling every single minute of the day in on your calendar. I actually used to do that, and my calendar is used to, I wake up in the morning at five, and my calendar, I would the night before, I would do all my calendar stuff, and from five, to 6 p.m. my whole calendar would be built out exactly what I'm doing um, and that worked for a while and it might work for you but these days I need a little bit of flex um, to, 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 to work throughout my day um, because I have um, agents who book into my calendar using the Calendly link um, to chat about partnering or coaching or whatever that looks like by the way there's a link in the description you can check out if you want to do that um, I also, you know, have just, we're realtors, right? Things happen. You get a phone call one day and it just pops up and you have to go and do something. So there's a lot here that you can be flexible with. I do recommend that. Or if you're going to build out your full day like this, just be prepared that you have to move a few things around and do whatever when you need to, okay? Don't be super hard on yourself that if your calendar's built out and something else comes up that takes priority, you're like, God, I didn't hit my calendar. This sucks, you know? Um... The other thing I do is I use a power list um, and that is a, a technique from Andy Frisella. We'll do a video on that. But basically you just pick five tasks for the day that are going to move your business forward. And it either if it takes all day to hit those five tasks, awesome. If it takes a couple hours, awesome. But you're done after that. So um, I'm a little bit more flexible with the way I operate. Some days my calendar's full. Some days it kind of looks like this, honestly. And I know I have this flex space 
to do whatever I'm doing. I'll just, if I'm a YouTube content day, I'll just write out maybe five items that I need to get done for that and then work the way through them. But I really like the way that this calendar looks and the way I do things. So again, to reiterate, build out all the pillars in your business and all the different things that all the, the categories that your things um, fall under. Uh, then from there, build out your five pillars of business that you can um, you know, fill in tasks with. If you have empty space, if you want to be a, a calendar filler upper person. And then from there, start to build it out. Now, I wouldn't recommend on the first week you do this to like blast this calendar and fill it all up like crazy. Just take it easy. Maybe, you know, do a couple things here, a couple things for door knock and a couple things for team, whatever that looks like. And just easily, gradually build yourself in. And then from there, you're going to be flying with it. Um, the other thing I do, all my tasks go into my calendar as well. I actually use a different app for this, which I'm going to do a video on called Fantastical. Um, it's a great app and it, it, it blends in with using Siri, which if you've not seen the Siri as your VA assistant, the video is right here. Um, but anytime I talk to Siri and tell it to remind me of something or to set a task, it will go into my fantastical calendar. It syncs up with Google Calendar, everything like that. So it's awesome. Google Calendar itself is phenomenal. It has tasks over here that you can build out. But for me, I like to use Siri. I like for it to remind me of what I'm going to do. So uh, that is exactly how I build out my Google Calendar. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop a comment below. I would love to hear from you. If you like this stuff, I am always dropping videos for realtors scaling their business using systems, processes, and time management hacks. Okay, so go ahead and subscribe and I will see you on the next one.